pressure building into the south, but still a strong jet to the north will deliver us some rain. And by the end of the week, again, the indications are that we'll start to see some more unsettled weather coming in. So mixed bag for the week ahead and some uncertainty in the detail, as I've explained. So please do stay tuned to the coming week's forecast. Tonight at 10, Boris Johnson introduces his rule of six, the strict new laws on social gatherings in England from next Monday. Alarmed by the sharp rise in new cases of coronavirus, especially among young people, the Prime Minister and his senior advisers want to avoid another total lockdown. In England from Monday, we're introducing the rule of six. You must not meet socially in groups of more than six, and if you do, you will be breaking the law. People should see this as the next block of time. Uh, that may not last uh, for uh, many months, but it's very unlikely to be just over in two or three weeks. As people take in the extent of the new restrictions in England, we'll be asking residents in Swindon for their response to what's going on. I think all these gatherings between 24 and 34 years of age, they never seem to take no notice at all, do they? Christmas is going to be really challenging because obviously they used to being around family and seeing everyone. And the new legislation also includes the power to impose a curfew in England if it's thought necessary. Also tonight, a global trial of a coronavirus vaccine partly developed by Oxford University has been paused after a volunteer fell ill. In Brussels, there's dismay and anger over Boris Johnson's intention to change parts of the Brexit deal that he negotiated with the EU. In Greece, a huge fire rips through Europe's biggest migrant camp, leaving 13,000 without shelter. Good evening. In the clearest sign so far of the government's alarm at the spread of coronavirus, Boris Johnson has announced a series of measures in England designed to avoid...